the Mohicans make their entrance to the 2001 Mohawk Bowl here on a chilly night at Mountaineer Field. Morgantown is 8-1, University number one in the state, 9-0. The Mohicans are third. The Hawks won the toss. They deferred to the second half. University High won the toss, but they will defer their choice until the second half. Morgantown High will receive the ball to start tonight's Mohawk Bowl. A couple of flurries in the air. This is the eighth game in the Mohawk Bowl series. Morgantown leads the Mohawk Bowl series four to three. And here come the Hawks. Let's bring on the Hawks! Receive the kick to start the Mohawk Bowl. Brian Phillips will kick off for UHS, number 27. Deba Aranyu, Lori Yanra, Josh Durham are back deep for the Mohegans. The home team's in black. The visitors are in white. This is a twist. All black versus all white for the Mohawk ball. And this one's gonna go to Ayanru at his own eight. Ayanru through the middle, trying to bust it to the outside, is brought down at about the 26 yard line. Good return by the sophomore, number 20. The Mingans will come on the field. Point off over center, it'll be friend and Simpson at the guards. Micholi and Thomas Crawford is back at tackle. But right now, Matt Moley is, Matt Moller is in the game. Wide left goes Seth Fogarty. In a wing, is Finnis to the near side, Rodimer to the far side, and this fullback is Guy Hornsby. Finnis goes in motion. They fake to Finnis. Here comes Rodimer on the reverse, tripped up in the backfield. Matt Webster on defense as Rodimer will lose about two on the play. It'll be second and 12. Tackle by number 44, Amanda Jobin. 
Or was Dejovin? My fault. Second down and 12. I thought it was Webster. Second and 12 now. This time Morgantown comes with a twin set Fogarty out of a shotgun. Shane is back looking, fires over the middle, tipped and in there, incomplete rather. Fogarty's pass was intended for Seth Fogarty. Fogarty to Fogarty falls incomplete. incomplete. Seth is wearing number three tonight. Says it's always been his number. He had to go out and buy that jersey since Morgantown did not provide it. So Seth will no longer be number 24. He'll be number three in the white jerseys. But it's third and a long 12 for Morgantown as they have it at their own 24. 11.21 to go here first quarter. And again, twin set for Shane Fogarty. Bottom of the lone sack back. Jeremy goes in motion. Outset, a lot of time. Looking, firing. Has his man caught. And no, incomplete. Out of bounds, and he could not hold on. Intended for Seth Fogarty. So the Mohegans will go three and out and forced to punt. Receiver was number three. Doherty on the kick. Ben Bradley. But Bradley is deep now for the Hawks. The always dangerous number four for UHS. Doherty's got good protection this time. Gets up a high kick, kind of short. It'll take a Hawk bounce, and it's down quickly. Nice play by the Mohegans. Dan Dalton, I believe. Eric Doherty's punt is down at the 48 of Morgantown. So UHS at that point. starts at the Mohegan 48-yard line, 11.07 to go here first quarter, no score. Morgantown minus two on their opening drive. Two incomplete passes, though. This time, no one receiver wide to the left is Jay Forsyth out of a power eye formation behind quarterback Eric Bocci, who is playing. And give up the middle as to Webster hitting Met and dropped Adam Matt Dalton. Guy Hornsby and Matt Simpson in there as well, or Dan Dalton rather. Looks like no gain for a while. They gave him a yard or gave him a yard. So Webster gets one, second and nine for UHS. Fourth scythe now goes wide to the right. Bradley in the slot to the left. The tight end is DeJoe for UHS. Mohegan's now four down linemen, two outside backers, two inside backers. Here's Brady Jackson with room and good blocking ahead of him down the sideline. Steps out of bounds at the 39 yard line. It'll be about a yard short of a first down. But a lot of blocking out ahead for the junior. Third down, one yard to go. Out of bounds, stops the clock, 10.24 to go first quarter. Power eye again for the Hawks. They give Webster's hit, met the lot of scrimmage, Fogarty drops him and pushes him backwards. Matt Webster, the ball carrier. The Number three works early. And the Hawks got a punt. They lose three on the play. Pass on the play. Fourth down. Minus two. To Brian Phillips comes over to punt the Hawks. Back to the 41. It's a loss of two. Nice play, number three. And now Phillips will punt it away. Rodimer and Durham back deep in the Mohegans. Rodimer circling on the near side. Hash marks at about the six yard line. And it's. A bad kick off the side of the foot. It takes a Mohegan bounce. Finally downed at the 33-yard line. It's a net punt of eight yards. 9.38 to go first quarter. No score. Both teams three and out on their opening possession. What do you think the, temp what do you think the temperature is tonight? It's 34. Randy Jones says 34. 34 and windy. Turf conditions dry. There's Hornsby up the middle, hit and dropped immediately. Did not get much as Dan Carrier ran right into him. Stop aiming number 75, Dan Carrier. I heard that on 
No game for Hornsby. Really. That cold, AJR says 34. It's so cold my pen won't write. That's cold. It's not that cold, but for some reason, this is what happens when you buy cheap pens. I wing to the left, Fogarty wide to the right. Rodimer through the middle, he's hit and met at the line of scrimmage and nothing there. It's the Hawks swarm to number seven. So the Mohegans cannot move the ball. They get one on the play. It'll be third down and nine. Third and a long note. Fogarty out wide to the left. Shane to throw, looking for Seth in trouble. Lobs him over the middle, has his man Nick Miller. Makes the catch, but he'll be dropped at about the 41 yard line, well short of the first down. But it is fourth down for Morgantown and Doherty will come on. Said Penn has just been dropped. Bradley at about his own 24. And Darty gets a good kick this time. Bradley will field it at about his 28. Room to maneuver up the middle. Nice return. Ben Bradley stopped on the play. It is Bradley Bodkin. So the Hawks will have the first and 10 at their own 40 yard line. Is injured Mohegan. And we cannot get the number. Hawks will have it first and 10 at their own 40. 7.46 to go here in the first quarter. No score at Mountaineer Field. This time it's trips. Coaches are calling sweep. And here's Bradley on the sweep. Bradley still on his feet as he's down the sideline. An ankle tackled at the last second by Matt Simpson had to make the stop. As Bradley will take it all the way to the Mohegan 41 yard line, it's a 19 yard gain for Bradley. Bradley's been injured all year. He'll go wide to the right with Jay Forsyth. This time they send tight to the right, MH or UHS does. And they've got one guard down at the bottom of your screen there. Webster up the middle, nothing. Tripped up nicely, Matt Mascholi, along with Dempsey French. So no gain for Webster. Second and 10, 638 and counting. First quarter, no score. And the 2001 Mohawk ball. I wing to the right, one to the right, wide is Jay Forsen. More slot right is Bradley, he'll come along on the reverse. The Mohegans aren't full, can they get him? Yes, they will. Seth Fogarty grabs him, brings him backwards, as Bradley will lose about three yards. Seth Fogarty, like last year, came to play tonight. It is third and 12, loss of two for Bradley. Eric Bocci, yet to throw a pass. This could be the down as he is out of the shotgun, trips to the near side, the short side. And see how Bocci's hand holds up. He hurt his non-throwing hand. Bocci back, looks, looks, has good time, fires downfield, has a man, it's Bradley down the sideline, but it's way out of bounds. Incomplete, it'll be fourth and 12 at the 43. And Coach Kelly sends the punt team on. Durham, Josh Durham, who went off earlier, is back on the field deep with Rodimer. And don't be surprised if we see a fake punt at the Mohegan 43 yard line. Uh, kick it away, and it's a bullet near side. 
Rodimer lets it go out of bounds. He's really got no choice. There's no market at the Mohegan 15, 16 yard line. Five and a half to go in the quarter, no score. Morgantown has not had decent field possession. They started at their own 33 on their last drive. This is their worst of the night. They have not really moved the ball. I have them for seven net yards on six plays. Third possession. Fogarty wide to the left, eye to eye with him is Bradley. Here's Hornsby up the middle, breaks the tackle, breaks one more and he could have been down and gone. Instead we'll settle for the 23 yard line. Seven yard pickup for Hornsby. Second and three. Simon McVeigh wide to the left. Ace formation, Finnis and Rodimer in motion goes Finnis. They'll give to Adam Finnis. No, they give to Hornsby up the middle. He's got close to him, Egan first down. Bounced around as Matt Webster dropped him on the ground. He got to about the 26 yard line. They want to measure it. What do you think, Randy? You think you got it? I think he's going to be a tad short. Just a tad. They stretch it. Eventually they will. Yeah, just a tad short. I mean, a tad short. About a chain link short there. Chain link short. Chain link short. So let's see what happens. We'll line him up. Fogarty goes wide to the left. This senior quarterback Shane Fogarty playing, starting in his second Mohawk Bowl. But the only starters returning. Fogarty will sneak it up the middle, and he's got the first down. No question. Fogarty. On offense, Fogarty, Dempsey, Friend, and Matt Simpson, the only returning starters from last year's Mohawk Bowl. As the Mohicans get their first first down of the night. First and ten to short of the Morgantown 28. Let's go, Morgantown! This time, twins for Shane. Late hand off Rodimer and he's hit and met and dropped immediately by Dan Carrier who pushed his way through the line of scrimmage. Like it or not, Dan Carrier. the loss of three for Carrier. There's nothing Rodimer can do there except uh, hold his breath and <laughs> say his prayers and make sure, you know, try to remember if he took his vitamins. The Hawks are plugging the middle to say the least. They are plugging the middle. At least on the halfback portion. Hornsby's had a little bit of success. Second and 13. This is Rodimer. No, this is Shane Fogarty on the quarterback keeper. He'll get it back to about the initial line of scrimmage, left side. Shane Fogarty keeps on the play. Maybe a yard after that. Began a four for Shane. Tried to catch the Hawks over pursuing and sleeping. It worked for four yards. It's a game three yards. It's a game right, three. As we approach 3.09 and the flurries are starting to fly here at Mountaineer Field. Twins to each side. And motion goes Rodimer. Quick pumps one. Shane looking. Fires twice. Has Nick Miller downfield. He was tripped up and the pass was intercepted. No call. Miller tripped as he went up for the ball. But the only one left back there was Brady Jackson to make the interception. They're going to say non-incidental uh, incidental trip. It's a bad break for the Mohegans, a big break for the Hawks. They'll take over, 2.53 to go here in the first quarter. No score at their own 45. Miller had his eyes on the ball, which is what you have to do. Now Bocci sends two to the left. Twins behind him in the pro set. It's Webster and Jackson. 
Quick pass, fires outside Ben Bradley with a lot of room to run. And he's out of bounds at the 40 yard line. It's a gain of about 14, almost 15. That's a first down for the Hawks. At the 41, they'll say. It's a pickup of 14 yards. Another first down for UHS. They're second of the night. Broken eye now. One receiver to the left. Webster up the middle. Hit as he runs into Matt Simpson. And Webster will get a couple. Almost to the 37. It's about three and a half. We'll say four second and a long six. 226 counting. First quarter, no score from Mountaineer Field. Windy Mountaineer Field. Webster again, the ball carrier. He'll carry the load across the 35 till about the 34 yard line. Again, Matt Simpson. Tackle made by Matt Simpson. It's a three yard pickup, almost four. But it is third again for UHS. Under two minutes to go. And the Hawks taking their time. Play clock is down to 10 as they approach the line of scrimmage. There's the reverse. Bradley's there. Hit and met and short of the first down. Adam Dalton. Dempsey friend. As Bradley will get it to the 34. It's no gain. It's fourth down for Coach Kelly at the 34. Is it four down territory or do you punt it and pin him? As the ball does not want to play this down. I think the Hawks are going for it. They need to get it to the 31. They need to get it to the 31. Fourth down. Fourth and three. They overload to the right to the strong side. Blanche gives to Brady Jackson. Adam Dalton has him in the back zone and brings him down. Mohegan ball. Mohegan ball. Amen, Adam. Came through. Unabated, and Morgantown gets some life. Jackson lost three on the play. 46 seconds to go in the quarter. Now the Mohegans got to find a way to move the football on the UHS defense. Fogarty wide to the left. I wing to the right is Adam Finnis. Rodimer in trouble right away. He cannot even get to the outside. The Hawks bring everybody. Does not look like any gain for Rodimer. It'll be second and ten. They will have to get one more playoff before the end of the quarter. And uh, Voidhofer forgot to snap the football. And we were going left. <laughs> There's a flag on the play. Procedure. That's the first flag of the night. So that'll push us back to the 42. That was a legal procedure. Mark off against Morgan. Second down, 15 yards to go. Procedure will end the quarter. clock was not to start. I didn't think the clock was to start. There's no time left in the quarter. There's, clocks are, say zero. Here we go. Second and a lot. Second and 15. 
Fogarty, quick three-step drive, looking for Seth down the sideline. He overthrew him. Can Seth get to it? No. Seth was there. Seth Fogarty, the receiver will play. The basketball is incomplete. Depending on the play, number four, Ben Bradley. That is the end of the quarter. No score. Hawks and Mohegans in the 2001 Mohawk Bowl back with the second quarter in a moment. This is Morgantown Mohegan Football, a video quest production. Good crowd tonight for the third Mohawk Bowl at Mount Mare Field. Eighth in the series. Third and 14 as we start the second quarter, no score. Shane's back looking, fires over the middle, has his man caught by Rodimer, hit as he catches it. It'll be a gain of about nine. Jeremy pops right back up, but it is fourth down at the 42. Tackle by Craig Grabowski. Brings up fourth down in a punting situation. Derek Darty to punt. Deep for the Hawks, Ben Bradley. Good kick by Darty. Bradley's on his horse back, fields it at about the 16. And Bradley's got room to run. Dragged down from behind by Dan Dalton at the 35 yard line. He's running up to the 23, Dan Dalton. Pass to Rodimer, went for 10 yards. I think that's the first Mohegan game I've been involved with this year where there was no score at the end of the first quarter. In a long time. Maybe the Mohawk Bowl in years past, but... Mohegans looking for a sweep to the left. No, they sweep to the right. Here comes Jackson to the outside. Moeller slows him up. Jackson will get pushed out of bounds at the 39-yard line. Number seven, Spotted at the 42. It'll be a seven-yard gain for Jackson. Second and three. Second down and four. Second and all short four, really. It's time tight to the left. Webster up the middle. He'll be close to a first down. It should have it. Matt Webster carried the ball for the Hawks. Tackle made by number 76, Matt Mascholi. 45. Webster it's a gains a Hawks first down. So another first down for UHS. Hawks have it their own 45. 11 minutes and counting second quarter. No score. It's been all defense. Again, trips, Bocci to pass, looking one-on-one. -on -one. Duesenberry and Forsyth go up to it, and Forsyth cannot hold on to the football. Duesenberry in coverage. Bocci's pass intended for Jay Forsyth, it falls incomplete. Bounced around a little bit for Duesenberry. Play number 26, Derek Duesenberry. Second down and 10. Second and 10. Time Forsyth wide to the left again. Trips behind Bocci. De Chauvin is tight to the right. In motion comes Brady Jackson. Bocci quick two-step fire looking for Forsyth incomplete. No flag on the play. The Hawkins wanted a flag. Bocci's pass intended for Jay Forsyth. The pass is incomplete. On the quick slant. I don't think the it was a catchable ball. Derek Dusenberry. Third and ten. The two incompletes make it third and ten for UHS. Big conversion here. This is the kind of this is the kind of play that can swing the game right now. Both teams have been trading punches, but nobody's coming out swinging. 
The Hawks have the opportunity right here. Bocce fakes a handoff, rolls to his left, fires one downfield, and incomplete. Mohegan fans say Forsyth pulled him down. Looking for Forsyth on three straight plays. They come up empty. It's fourth and ten, and the Hawks have to punt. So they are winning the field position game because the Mohegans have not gotten the ball past the 42, I believe. Their own 42, that is. And this is a bullet. Ron, we're on a hop at the 21. Running right, looking for a wall, doesn't find it, comes back the other way, spins through the hole, and will take it to the 29 yard Jeremy line. Jeremy Ronald will return Phillips punt. Tackle made by Craig Grabowski. 10-16 to go, second quarter, no score, and Morgantown once again Morgantown with the football. The ball, first and 10. Their own 29 yard line. At their own 29. Fogarty wide to the left. Rodimer inside, trying to find a seam. Does not get much. Rodimer, the ball carrier. To about the 32. It's a three yard carry Our for Rodimer. Second and seven. Again, I formation. Hand off Rodimer and into backfield again. Jeremy is Rodimer, the ball carrier. UHS. Pat Webster was the tackler. Webster and Verboski again causing havoc for Jeremy Rodimer's running game. Jeremy loses one. Third and eight. Fogarty now with twins. No, twins are the near side, one wide to the right. Joe Bragg in a three-point stance. Shane looking, firing, has Seth over the middle. Seth makes a move, tripped up, and will be short of the first down. Excellent tackle by Craig Verboski. Shane Fogarty. Verboski. by number 42, Craig Verboski. It's a gain of only three, otherwise. Eric Darty on the punt. Pick up a four, rather, but it is fourth down. Dirty's kick is high and short to the near side, and it'll go out of bounds at the 39-yard line. MHS punt goes out at the 39 of the Hawks. The Hawks won the first and 10 at that point. 8.23 to go in the half. Stalemate. Nothing, nothing. Somebody's due for a big play. Jackson, left side, stutter steps, still rolling left, turns on the speed, and is brought down by. Adam Dalton at the 44 yard line. Ball carrier was Brady Jackson. Tackle is number 50, Adam Dalton. Dalton is hurt. He is hurt. A, takes it to the 43. It's a four yard gain. Adam Dalton's in agony, I guarantee it. He will not come out. Dejovan goes in motion. Bocce to throw. Bocce near side. Has Dejovan. Caught. Pushed out of bounds by Dan Dalton. Near midfield at the 48 Dan yard line. Takes in the pass from Eric Bocce. It'll be. Number 23 pushed him out. That's Dan Dalton. 
a yard shy of the first down. Third and one. Third down and one. Lots of time on the play clock, about 15 seconds. Game clock stopped with 7.34 and a go and a half, no score. Webster up the middle, has the first down, driving backwards. Pat the Megan swarm to him. Gains the first down for the Hawks. Webster kept the legs pumping. And they'll have it at the Mohegan 48-yard line. It's a pickup of four for Webster and another UHS first down. First attempt for the Hawks at the Morgantown 48. T now. Bradley on the sweep. He's going to throw it. Throws it downfield, way overthrowing Jay Forsyth. Jackson's halfback pass falls incomplete. It was intended for Jay Forsyth. Second and ten now for UHS. Defending on play number 22, Josh Durham. No. <laughs> no, he Second did not say two. that. High formation, one to each side for Bocce. Bradley to the left, Forsyth to the near side. Fakes looking for Forsyth and the in and out. Fakes Wentz has to run and he's got a lot of room to maneuver. Seth Fogarty grabs him and drives him backwards. What a tackle. Eric Bocci on the keeper. Bocci does pick up six on the carry. Seth Fogarty with the stop. Good coverage by the Mohegans downfield as he was looking at Forsyth out of the way but was not there. Three. Third down and five. Third down and a big five. No team had it inside the 35 yet. We've been playing midfield and right side football for the most part. Morgantown hasn't moved the ball past their own 45 yet. Jackson, no, this is Ben Bradley. Left side, stops, goes. Bragg can't get him. Bradley fights his way ahead and could have a Hawk first down. Ben Bradley, the ball carrier. Tacklers were 33, Guy Hornsby, and number 60, Matt. Atkins. I'm sorry, that was number 64, Matt Simpson. Also in on the play, number 55, Matt Kosor. They're going to measure. I mean, you almost have to wonder and figure Coach Kelly will go for it again this time. This would be only inches, but I, I think he has the first down. To the right, to the right, to the right, to the right, to the right. You can't see, can't tell anyhow. It is a first down. By the nose of the football. First and ten for the Hawks. At the Morgantown 38. This time it's Forsyth wide to the right. The Hawks O line shifting with trips behind him, a T, if you will. It's Webster up the middle, diving his way ahead on the Matt fullback the dive across the 35 to about the 34. Tackle made by number 55, Matt Kozor, and number 63, Dempsey Fred. Four yards for Webster. Second and six. Kozert in the game for Adam Dalton. <laughs> Webster again. Fighting his way through. Dempsey Friend and Matt Simpson will tackle him. Matt Webster, the ball carrier. Morgantown's Matt Simpson is the tackle. Inside the 30. This will be close. It is a Hawk first down.
So inside running, getting the do job done right now for UHS. Blatchy with a power eye behind him. Since Jackson in motion out of the backfield, here's Webster again. This time he's got room to move. Brought down at the 21 the yard here. line by Jeremy Rodimer. Tackle made by Jeremy Rodimer. I'd like to remind the fans that the lost and found is located at the south gate. Any person that has been separated from friends or family need to report to the south gate. It's a seven yard pickup. Officials, Morgantown timeout. UHS. Content to run it down to Mohegan's throat. Webster on the pitch out. Can the Mohegans get there as Fogarty fights his way ahead? Webster breaks three. And he'll dive ahead to the 19-18 is where they'll spot it. Should be enough for a hawk first down. Tackle made by number 72, Matt Moeller. They want to measure. And number 64, Matt Simpson. Must be close. <laughs> Short. Short by less than a chain link, it looks. to figure it's four down territory for UHS. The first time inside the red zone tonight for either team. They've controlled the clock so far in the second quarter, three and a half to go. That's killed five minutes on this drive with all the running they've done. Bocce back to pass in trouble. And as he does it, it's intercepted. And Seth Fogarty is running to daylight. 50, 40, 30, 20, 15, 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 78 yards. For the playmaker wearing number three! <laughs> Seth Fogarty! <laughs> oh, if only you could play the Mohawk Bowl every week. Vay to snap, running to hold dirty two kick as the Hawks are still bringing people in. It looks like they only have 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine guys. Ox only have nine guys. Drenning holds. Dirty's kick is on his way. It is good. 78 yards for Seth Fogarty. And the Mohegans lead seven to nothing. This is just a mess now. Back deep to receive the kick, Ben Bradley. He's flying by. So the official word is 81 yards for Seth Fogarty, number seven. Number three. Four seven. The officials haven't even started the clock yet. But this will be the first Mohegan kickoff of the night. Fifteen to go in the half. The Hawks were running the football and pounding it down the Mohegan's throat, controlling the clock and controlling the game. Blachie dropped back, pressure came, he released it quickly. Fogarty sniffed it out and Bradley has got to let it land in the end zone. Goes into the end zone, it's a touchback. The Hawks won the first and ten at the road 20. Three twelve to go in the half. Morgantown will kick off to start the third quarter. And so now they'll bring the passing attack and try to get some points on the board before the half. First turnover of the game, crucial, as it goes in the Mohegans' favor. Josh Durham now on the corner to the near side, cover, uh, covering Jay Forsythe. Bradley on the sweep, cuts it back in. Hornsby hits him, but he's still on his feet. Finally pushed out of bounds by Durham at the 35-yard line. What a run by number four. He was all but down and squirmed away. It's a player playing with a lot of angst, I guarantee it. Man, it's had to sit out most of the season. First and 10 Hawks at their own 35. Bocci hands to Jackson, hit and met and drop. Brady still on his feet, but Fogarty and Simpson finish him off. Back at the 29-yard line, they're going to give him the 31. It's a loss of four. Second and 14 as the clock runs 2.27 to go here in the half. The big play. Don't give up the big play. Trips to the near side. Coverage comes Durham, Fogarty, and Rodimer. Quick pass. It's Bradley with the catch. Hit and met and dropped as he crosses the 35. Down to about the 36. It'll be a five yard pickup, but it will be third and nine, under two minutes to go. A minute 46 in the half. And the Hawks have third down. Seven nothing Mohegans following Seth Fogarty's 81 yard interception return. I mean, if he wasn't wearing the red shoes, I would have never known who he was. As far back as we are. Third and nine. And officials time on a play. This will be delay a game called against the Hawks. Right, 
That'll put them back at their own 31. And third and nine becomes third and 14. A minute 15 to go and a half. But that does stop the clock. <laughs> Probably is cold. There's twins to the far side, Bradley and Forsyth. High formation now. Dejovan tight to the right. Here's Brady Jackson back inside, and he's brought down at the 39 yard line. Fourth down for UHS at their own 39. It's a pickup of eight for Jackson. Morgantown will call their second timeout to prevent the Hawks from running it down with a buck or two to go in the second quarter. high. Latimer will let it bounce out of bounds at the 23 yard line. Phillips punt goes out at the 23 yard line. 55 seconds to go in a half and the Mohegan offense will come on the field. From the 23 at the 55. Second mark here in the second quarter. 7-0 Mohegans. Their offense has mustered 34 total yards in the first half. And only 13 on the ground. Rodimer right side has room to maneuver. Steps back in. Jeremy spins his way ahead to about the 33-yard line. Jeremy Rodimer, the ball carrier. Close to a Mohegan first down. Ben Bradley, the tackler. Second and one. Rodimer again, he's gonna throw it. Hit as he throws it, it's a short lame duck. This is gonna be easily picked off by the Hawks, Brady Jackson. And Rodimer comes up and makes the tackle at the 46. Brady Jackson with the interception of Rodimer's pass. So the Hawks have 15 seconds left. And they'll have, the Hawks have 15 seconds left. They'll have it at the Mohegan 46 yard line. Timeout, Morgantown. But officially their last of the half. It's a good timeout. three of their timeouts remaining. 15 seconds to go in the half. The ball at the Mohegan 46. Twins to the near side. 
out of the backfield. Matt Webster goes in motion. It's a quick pass to Bradley on the near side. He's hit and met and dropped out of bounds at the 39-yard line. Nine seconds to go. And Bradley takes in the pass from Eric Bocci. Tackle made by number three, Seth Fogarty, and number 64, Matt Simpson. Second and three. Second down and three. And this time, Joey Choma checks in along with Eric Bocci. Light clock now down to a dozen for the Hawks. They still have all three timeouts remaining. Nine seconds left. They send trips to the near side. They're going to send them all deep. Bocci fires down the sideline. Has his man Forsyth caught at the 32. Out of bounds with four Forsyth seconds left. They send a pass from Eric Bocci. It's a first Knocking down. Number three, Seth Fogarty. Four seconds left. First and ten for the Hawks. At the 32. Balls at the 37 of Morgantown. So that should be enough for Bocci to throw one up in the end zone, only 32 yards out. Trips now, again. Bocci's back, heaves one. This one's gonna be a little bit short. It's caught but incomplete. Time expires in the half. So we'll go to the locker room. Up by seven. Morgantown leads seven nothing. Thanks to that man, number three, Seth Fogarty's 81 yard interception return. Back to the third quarter in a moment. Morgantown Mohegan football. A video quest production. We've played two quarters of football. Morgantown ahead seven to nothing. Thanks to Seth Fogarty's 81 yard interception return. Mohegans were held to 43 yards of total offense in the first half, 22 passing, 21 rushing. And uh, the UHS defense apparently is the real deal. The MHS defense has held the Hawks to 94 yards rushing. They held Eric Bocci to 38 yards passing. That in itself is a victory, 132 yards total. But Bocci, one interception, proving costly. This is a game where the big play is going to win it for you. The Hawks, on that interception by Fogarty, were driving right down the field on the Mohegans, pushing the ball left, right, and up the middle, moving the ball with ease. On third and inches, they tried to screen pass, and that's when Fogarty came up big. The Hawks won the toss to start the game. They deferred to the second half, so they will receive to start the third quarter. Doherty tees it up at the 40, and we're ready to play some football again here at Mountaineer Field. Third quarter is underway. And it's fielded at about the eight by Webster. There's Matt and wrapped up at about the 30. They'll give him about Matt the 30 yard line. So a decent field position for Matt UHS. Number 72, Matt Bowler. First and 10. University has the ball just out over the room 30. <laughs> So let's see what the Hawks do offensively. Time of possession has got to favor UHS heavily as well. I bet they had the ball the entire second quarter almost, it seemed. T formation. This is Brady Jackson bouncing his way ahead for about five. Brady Jackson, the ball carrier. He's brought down by number 33 guy, Hornsby. Five yards for Brady. Second and five. Wins to the near side. It's Bradley the split. And Forsyth is wide. I formation now for Webster and Jackson behind quarterback Eric Bocci. Jackson runs into trouble immediately as he's hit at the line of scrimmage. Dan Dalton and Dempsey Friend are making the stop. Tackle made by Dan Dalton and Dempsey Friend. Jackson still gets two though. It'll be third and three.
Fauci to throw. Has time, hit as he throws it. It's incomplete, intended for Brady Jackson. Adam Dalton levels Bocci as he released the pass. It'll be fourth and five, and the Hawks will have to punt. Rodimer and Durham are back deep for the Mohegans. Phillips gets one off. Jeremy Rodimer will watch it bounce back into his hands at the 27. Rodimer running vertically. Good chop block, or good block back the other way as Wes McVeigh leveled somebody. I mean, he leveled somebody. The Mohegans will have it just shy of the 32. Did you get that block? I'm not sure. I don't know if you did it. I was watching the game instead of the so 10.26 to go in the third quarter. Morgantown has it first and 10 at their own 32. It's Fogarty wide to the right. Eye formation for the Mohegans. Finish the, the wing to the right. Hornsby is at fullback. Rodimer again up the middle. Nothing. Again, the Hawks stuff it. It's a gain of half. Maybe we'll give Rodimer one. It'll be second and a long nine. Or no gain at half a yard. Half a yard. Right? Fogarty wide to the left. It's Finnis in the wing to the right on the crisscross. Here comes Adam Finnis bouncing his way through. Adam Finnis bounces his way across the 35 to about the 37. 36, Adam Finnis, the ball carrier. It's a four-yard pickup for Finnis, but it's third and five for Morgantown. That's that. Nine twenty-six, counting third quarter, seven nothing Mohegans. High wing right is Finnis. Ready to throw, quick fire, intercepted! What an interception! This is Joey Choma, and he could even the score! And he does! Joey Choma scores a Hawks touchdown on the interception! What an interception by Choma, leaped up and got it. And the Hawks will try to make it a tie ball game. Brian Phillips on to attempt the extra point. Brian Hess is his holder. Left footed kicker Phillips, the snap is low. And he still got it off. Are you kidding me? Brian Phillips with the extra point. Hess had that ball between his legs, and he took forever, and the Mohegans could not block it. Score, 7-7. Seven, seven. We're tied at 7. So it's all defense. Apparently, the Hawks will have the advantage now because they'll kick off and have their defense on the field. gets off a nice kick. Uh, Yonders let it pass in the end zone. It'll be a touchback. Miscommunication on the kick return. First and ten. Morgantown at the end zone. That'll be a touchback. First and ten for Morgantown at their own twenty.
So nine minutes to go in the third quarter. Tied at seven, first and 10, Morgantown at their own 20. Fogarty wide to the left. The Hawks coming on a blitz. Fogarty to throw, Shane's in trouble, and he's down. At the 13, a loss of seven. Mark share the sack of Shane Fogarty. It's a loss of seven. It'll be second and 17. Eight, second down, 16 to go. 8.33 to go here. In the third quarter, tied at seven. Here's Rodimer. If he can get by one guy and he doesn't. Back to the line of scrimmage, maybe a yard. Charlie Rodimer, the ball carrier. Craig Probosky, the tackler. Third down and 17. Jeremy has no gain. Third and 17. wide to the left ace formation now for the Mohegans. In motion comes Finnis. Shane's back, looking, 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 fires, has a man way downfield. Not quite that far though. Intended for Joe Bragg. I mean, he heaved that ball. And the Mohegans got a punt at the 13. Fourth down at 17. Deep for the Hawks, Ben Bradley. Number 27, Eric Darty on the punt. Almost blocked. It looked like it was tipped. And the Higgins will down it at the 48 yard line. So UHS has good field position. The Mohegan 48, 724 to go, third quarter. This is Forsyth wide to the left, T behind Eric Bocci. Up the middle, Jackson. Not much, maybe three. Give him four. Up to the Brady 44. Tackle by Matt Simpson and Guy Hornsby. Second and a long, a long five, almost six. Under seven minutes, third quarter, tied at seven. Again, T formation for UHS. Webster again, this time he's through the middle. Brought down by Matt Simpson near the 40 yard line. Number 64, Matt Simpson. Third and two. And the ball's on the ground. Looks like the Mohegans have it. And they do! Morgantown football! Morgantown recovers the fumble. Webster fumbled at the 35 yard line. Rodimer came up with it, and Morgantown has a little bit of life back at their own 33. And he gets at their own 33. 6-12 to go. They have not even been in UHS territory, nor close to it for that matter. Looking for a big play here. Seth Fogarty wide to the right. Hornsby up the middle. Guy Hornsby carries the load for about four. Ball carrier number 33, Guy Hornsby. Tackle made by Craig Grabowski. 
It's a five yard pickup, second and no, four yard pickup, second and six. Looks like he got three to the 36. 543 counting third quarter. I wing right is Adam Finnis. There's Jeremy Rodimer through the middle. Rodimer dives across the 40 to the 41. It's a five yard pickup for Rodimer, but it'll be third and two. I gotta get it to the 43 yard line for a first down. They're at the 40, it's third and a long three. Hornsby off the middle and he's tripped up, still on his feet, crossing midfield. We're in hot territory. At the 49, it's an eight, uh, it's an 11 yard pickup for Hornsby. First down, Morgantown. Ball spotted at the University High 49. 4.55 and the Mohegans finally get into Hawk territory in the third quarter. We're tied at seven. Play clock is at 10. Up the middle, no, yes, no, nothing, backwards. Not much doing there for Hornsby. Probably no gain. Might even the lost a yard, half a yard, we'll say no game. Second and 10, 419 counting third quarter, tied at seven. It's Miller and Fogarty wide to the left. This is a new look for the Mohegans. The Hawks got everybody up on the line of scrimmage and they're coming. Shane looks, fires, looking for Seth. Is it intercepted by University's Ben Bradley? That's the Shane Fogarty pass. It's going to be first and 10 for the Hawks at their own 39 yard line. Fogarty's second interception of the night, the third of the game for the Mohegans. 3.55 to go, third quarter, first and 10 UHS at their own 38 yard line. The good news is the Mohegan defense is on the field. Defense has led the way all night on both sides of the football, like it or not. It's only gonna take one offensive play to break this game open. Officials time. Officials time. Hornsby's got a helmet problem. First and 10 Hawks at their own 38 yard line. Bradley running to the outside, has lots of room to maneuver. Pushed out of bounds at the 45 yard line. And a flag's gonna come in late. Should be a personal foul. That's gonna be 15 yards. Personal foul Automatic foul first down. And that ball will go to the Mohegan 40 yard line. Backbreaker. I'm going to say, oh, they spotting this football. At the 39, no, just across the 40. First and 10 Hawks. 3.47 to go, third quarter. Tied at seven. the throw, under pressure, hit, and Matt dropped. Holy Mascholi! <laughs> He'll drop him back at the 49 yard line. It's a loss of nine for Bocce. Second and 19. I say the 48. Time Forsyth will go wide to the right. We 
gives to Jackson. Jackson's hit and met as he nears the 44-yard line. It's a four-yard pickup for University, but it's third down. Third down. 2.45 to go. Third quarter tied at seven. And the ball does not, again, want to play this down. And if the ball floats away, you have to restart the play clock. That's the way it goes. Those are the rules. Third and 15 for the Hawks. They got to get it to the Mohegan 30 for a first down. Bocce, quick strike, firing, and incomplete. McVeigh almost had it. It was intended for Bradley. But it's fourth down and the Hawks will have to punt. This must be Bay broke the pass up. Fourth and 15. Brian Phillips setting up to punt for the Hawks. Rodimer and Durham back deep. And Brian Phillips, the left footed kicker. And he kicks it Rodimer's way out of bounds. So we'll spot this close to the 20-yard line. 19 at the 19. 2.07 to go third quarter. There's that one balloon is fighting for its life. First and 10 for Morgantown at the road 19. Wiggins break the huddle. 13 on the play clock now. Rodimer wing to the right. In motion comes Finnis and Matt Webster is right there. How about Matt Webster? Adam Finnis the ball carrier. Tackled by Matt Webster and Brady Jackson. Finnis lost two yards on the play. It'll be second and a long 11. This time Fogarty wide to the right. There's Rodimer. Back turning, still on his feet, and holds on to the football as he crosses the 20. We're about the 22. It's a four-yard game for Rodimer. But it is third and seven. Timeout, Morgantown. That's their first timeout of the half. What's that? That only means a long fourth quarter. Seven for the Mohegans. Fogarty now wide to the near side. Ace formation for MHS. Here comes one man in motion. And Fogarty to throw. Under pressure, head as he's. The ball is loose on the ground, and Matt Simpson will jump on it to save it. That's coming on a blitz was Matt Clodges. And the Mohegans are lucky to punt this one away from their own 16. 
Ben Bradley deep to receive the punt from Eric Darty. Darty gets a good kickoff. Bradley will let it bounce in front of him. He'll field it at the 47. Ben Bradley's got room to run. Still on his feet down the sideline. Travis Trickett cannot get him. And Bradley has it inside the 20. No penalty flag on the play. He'll have it at the 17 yard line. First and 10, UHS. 27 seconds to go in the third quarter. in motion, Brady Jackson. There's Webster, right side, still on his feet, across the 15, that finding his way down barrier. to the 12. Tackle made by Josh Durham and Dempsey Friend. It's a five yard pickup for Webster, it'll be second and five. And the Mohegans and the Hawks will end the third quarter tied at seven. The third quarter with a score nodded at seven. Fourth quarter in a moment. This is Morgantown Mohegan Football Video Quest production. Second and five from the 12 for UHS as we start the fourth quarter, tied at seven. Jackson in motion. And they'll give to Brady Jackson, right side. Seth Fogarty's right there along with Matt Muller, and Jeremy Rodimer, and Matt Mascholi. As Jackson still manages to get it to about the 10. Third and three for UHS. And they do have the field goal kicker. High formation, Bradley wing to the left. Near side. Watchy gives to Webster. He'll fight his way ahead, and I don't think he got it. Man, Webster, the ball carrier. Dan Dalton, Guy Hornsby, Adam Dalton, and Joe Bragg, along with Josh Durham, all had their nose on the ball. And he's not going to have this first down. It's fourth down. Fourth down for the Hawks. And Phillips is on to attempt a 25 yard field goal. Fourth down for the Hawks. Brian Phillips on to attempt a field goal. Brian Hess is his holder. 28 yard field goal. No, 27. They moved the. <laughs> Move the spot up the yard. From the 20, 27 yard field goal on the way. The snap is back. The kick is down. The whistles have blown. The kick was no good. We'll have to see what the call is. If this is against the Mohegans, it'll be first and goal Hawks. Delay of game, UHS. So that'll push him back five more. So a 28, 27 yard field goal becomes a 30. Two yard field goal. I don't think he did. I think he missed it to the left. I couldn't tell. Left footed kicker will 32 yard field goal. The snap is back. The hold is good. The kick is on his way. Doesn't have the distance. Not even close. 
So the Hawks first and 10 at the Mohegan 17 come up with a donut, and now the Mohegans will have it first and 10 at their own 20 yard line, which, you know, I thought should be the 22. Ten thirty-five to go. First and ten now for Morgantown at the own twenty. Ten thirty-five to go in regulation. The Mohegans have not moved the ball past the Hawk forty-nine yard line yet tonight. Twins to each side. Fogarty out of a shotgun. You think no huddles coming? Set this Shane's back. Look, pumps once, throws twice. Has Rodimer caught it, and he'll be stopped at the twenty. It's gain of nine. Made by Andy I don't think there was any game on the play. It'll be second and ten. <laughs> Everly and Miller go wide to the right. Fogarty and McVeigh wide to the near side. Out of a shotgun. Shane Fogarty. Quick looks. Delayed handoff. Has Rodimer and Rodimer. Can he turn on the speed and turn it inside? He'll get it to about the 24-yard line. The Hawks are fast, man. That is a fast defensive football team. Rodimer gets four in the carry. Third and six, 9.38 and counting here in the fourth quarter. Miller, Everly wide to the right. Fogarty and McVeigh wide to the near side. Rodimer the lone setback. Shane Fogarty out of a shotgun. Third and six. Shane's looking, scrambling. Throws it back the other way. Has Seth Fogarty. He'll have the first down from Morgantown across the 30 to the 32 yard line. Improvisation. It's Mohegan first down. Eight yard pickup. First and 10, Morgantown at the 32. Clock rolls, 9.06 to go, in regulation, tied at seven. Morgantown's gotta milk that clock. Both touchdowns coming on interception returns. Seth Fogarty and Joey Choma. First and 10, Morgantown. Shane's back, looking, looking, looking. Pumps once, throws twice, tries. Rodimer short over the middle. Jeremy makes a move at the 40. 45, Rodimer first and 10 at the Mohegan 45 yard line. 13 yards on that pass play. Jackson. 8.41 to go fourth quarter. First and 10 Morgantown at their own 45. Again, twins to each side. Shane's back, looking, looking, has time, fires over the middle, it's caught for a short gain. Seth Fogarty making the catch. Seth Fogarty takes in the pass from Shane Fogarty. They'll say 48 yard line, it's a pickup of three. It's brought down by number four, Ben Bradley, number 48, Mark Mangrove. Second and seven, eight minutes and counting, fourth Nine quarter. Everly and Miller again wide right. Fogarty and McVeigh near side. Shane's back, look, pumps once, throws twice, had Rodimer over the middle, missed him. Missed him. Pass intended for number seven, Jeremy Rodimer. It's Incomplete, complete. it's now third down and seven. Clock stops, 7.39 to go fourth quarter. Shane's back, pressure comes, screen passed, and it's intercepted by University High School at the 49 yard line. Who else sitting back and waiting but Dan DeJoven? Pressure was coming hard on the outside. First and 10 now for the Hawks at the 49. 
Shane's third interception of the night. Third guy to intercept a pass for the Hawks. And with 7.33 to go, the ball is now in University's favor. First and 10 at their own 49-yard line. Tied at seven here in the fourth quarter. 7.33 to go. A line to the left. Forsyth trips behind Bocci, and he'll give to Brady Jackson up the middle. Bouncing and fighting and his way ahead to the 40. Three, 48 yard line, Morgantown. Officials time on the play. Four yards for Jackson. Second down and six. Clock was stopped and never reached that area. 7.16 to go here, fourth quarter. Tripped and caught up in the backfield was Craig Verbosky. He doesn't get much. His Dempsey friend was back there along with Matt Mascholi and Dan Dalton. Tackle made by Dan Dalton and Dempsey Friend. Gain of one for Verbosky. Third and five. Third and five. Now the receivers come in for the Hawks. Bradley wide to the left. Twins to the, and I mean twins wide to the near side, and they are spreading the Mohegan field. Bocci back to pass, looking, has, he's looking for Bradley, there's a Mary turns around, Bradley's there, makes the catch. No, incomplete! They said he did not have it. Fourth down for the Hawks. That's huge. Defending on the play, Wes McVeigh. He juggled it going out of bounds. The Hawks will be forced to punt with 6.16 to go in regulation. And the flurries continue to fly here at Mountaineer Field. The frozen tundra. Phillips kicks it away. Rodimer fields it at his 15. Jeremy Rodimer to the outside. Jeremy's got the corner. 30, 35, 40. 50, Rodder is tackled out of bounds at the Hawk 46 yard line. And he's down. And not getting back up. Jeremy Rodder on the return. Might have cramped up. Brian Phillips mission came out of Jeremy's bounds. back on his feet and he'll come back into the game. <laughs> We can all breathe now. Six oh one to go, fourth quarter. Morgantown has it at the Hawk forty six yard line. Hornsby up the middle. Guy Hornsby carrying the load. First down, Morgantown at the thirty six yard line. A gain of ten. For the sophomore fullback. <laughs> Quit it. He's choking me. 552 and counting. Rodimer up the middle. Jeremy's hit quickly. Jeremy Rodimer, the ball carrier. The wind would be in front of the Mohegans. They'd be kicking a field goal into the wind right now. Rodimer will get a couple. Gain of two for Rodimer, second and eight. Five, 18 and counting, fourth quarter, tied at seven. Rodimer, outside, and has the corner. Jeremy's down the sideline. Still on his feet inside the 10 at the five yard line. And there's no flag on that tackle out of bounds. First to go, Mohegan's at the four. 
Jay Forsythe gets him out of bounds. The first and goal at the University of Ohio Four. It's a 30-yard run for Rodimer. But now you got to find out where you're at. 5.05 to go. A haze hangs over the field. It's snow. It's only October 26th. Hornsby fighting his way ahead. He'll get to the three and pushed backwards. The They're going to give Guy the two. The ball Let's see where they spot the football. As Hornsby's limping, getting back up, and they give Hornsby one yard on the play, and Guy's hurting. Official timeout for an injury. And the clock stops with 4.38 to go. Center, second and goal from the three. Miller now the fullback, and it's Rodimer right side looking. Can he get into the end zone? He does! Touchdown, Jeremy Rodimer! Three yard touchdown run, and the Mohegans lead 13 to 7. 422 left in regulation. Dirty to kick now. Dirty's kick is good. There's a penalty, two penalty flags on the play. Kick was good. There should be too many men on the field called against the Mohegans. So it becomes a 25 yard point after. 422 to go, 13 to 7. Kick is on its way. That kick is good, folks. Dirty, a huge sigh of relief. 4.22 to go. 14-7 Morgantown. Rodimer gets touchdown number 30 on the air. Still a lot of football to be played though. Now we have to find out if Darty into the wind can put this one in the end zone. Bradley and Webster back deep for the Hawks. Looks like a gorilla. I don't know. Darty kicks it away, and this one's going to be short. Fielded at the eight by University's Webster. Matt Webster is brought down at about the 23 yard line. So the Hawks, first and 77 for them. 4.15 to go in regulation. 10 for the Hawks from their own 23.
There's Brady Jackson up the middle with a hole. He gets away from Fogarty. Brady Jackson knocked down hard at the 35-yard line by Dan Dalton. But it is a Hawk first down. Tackle made by Jeremy Rodimer. Four minutes to go fourth quarter. Now the offense will finally come alive for University. It's Jackson again running near side. In and through! Matt Simpson kept him in bounds. The clock will continue to roll. It's back at the 32, a loss of three. Second and 12. Second and 12. 3.28 to go, fourth quarter. Bocce out of a shotgun now. Twins to each side. Bradley and Forsyth. Lots of time. Bocce throws it. It's deep and incomplete. Josh. Durham. On the pass breakup, the sophomore coming up big. Depending on play, number 22, Josh Durham, and number 7, Jeremy Rodimer. Clock stop 308, third and 12 now for University. He approaches the huddle. Ten on the play clock. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And he gets it off the buzzer. Webster and Matt and Joe Bragg slows him down. Here come the rest of the Mohegans. Joe Bragg, baby. <laughs> How about that sophomore? And the Hawks got a pint. There's 2.52 and counting here. And they got a punt from their own 29. And they're letting the clock roll. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. And it's a bullet. The Mohegans will let it roll. So Morgantown with 218 left to go in the fourth quarter takes over and downs. First and 10 at their own 42. I don't know why you don't go for it there. I, seven, six, five, four, three. There's Finnis up the middle. Adam Finnis up to midfield. Hoo the ball carrier. The Hawks are not even trying to stop the clock. Second and eight. The Hawks don't even try to stop the clock. Two minutes to go. Ten seconds on the play clock, 147 on the game clock. 14-7 Morgantown. Finnis again through the middle. Adam Finnis has a first down, folks. Adam Finnis the ball here. Gains a Morgantown first down. The 44-yard line. That's a six-yard pickup for Finnis. Balls at the hot 44. And still the Hawks do not try to stop the clock. A minute 32 to go. Now a minute and a half and counting. Morgantown will milk all this time off. <laughs> They're not trying to, 10 seconds on the play clock, a minute 17 on the game clock. Again, Adam Finnis. Across the 40 to about the 30. Finnis the ball carrier. 
36 yard line and finally the Hawks called timeout. It's an eight yard pickup with a minute three to go. University calls timeout. Second down and two. He has two timeouts left. It's second and two. A first down will ice it for the Mohegans. <laughs> Finnis and Rodimer. And Miller's Adam Finnis again. Adam Finnis, first down. Adam Finnis, the ball carrier. And Morgantown comes up with the loose football on the ground. Hey, Amen. <laughs> First down, Morgantown at their own 31. First down stops the clock with 57 seconds to go. University will take their second timeout. Timeout, University. It's time to take a knee, folks. Fogarty takes a knee. Hawks take their last time out. Canada University High. at the five yard line. Tilt up. Our coaches. There they are. Hawks are now out of timeout. Second and 11 for the Mohegans. 48 seconds to go. There's a penalty flag on the play. This is dead ball offsides against the University. Fogarty takes a knee. 
and that clock will roll. One more. Play clock at five. Now four, three, two. Penalty flag on the play. Lined up in the neutral zone against the university again. So that's it. That, that'll reset the play clock. The Mohegans don't even have to get a play off again. Three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, back to back champions and undefeated for the second year in a row in the NCAC Conference. The Morgantown Mohegans could jump up to number one in the state. Whoa, the game is not over. The game is not over. What the heck is going on? What the? Ah, this is ridiculous. All right, here we go, one more time. The play cannot end on a defensive penalty. Fogarty takes a quick knee. Folks, let's try this again. <laughs> Undefeated and champions for the second year in a row in the NCAC Conference. The Morgantown Mohegans will hold on to the Mohawk Bowl Trophy. Final score, Morgantown 14, University 7. And I got to tell you, folks, you play this game 10 times and both teams go 5-5. Five and five. What a defense put together by University High School. Held the Mohegans to 151 yards. Total offense, that's it, 151 including only 45 passing from Shane Fogarty. The Mohegans kept the Hawks in check, 38 yards passing. And I gotta believe that's, they held the Hawks zero yards passing in the second half, and they did. Zero yards passing in the second half for Eric Bocci and his UHS Hawks. And don't forget, we'll go to the other side of the field for the Mohawk Bowl Trophy presentation by Athletic Director Kelly Johnson. As the good guys in white defeat the bad guys in black. Oh, did I just say that? team has won the Mohawk Bowl at Mountaineer Field. The last two were won by the home team.
Second year in a row, Morgantown will be champions of the NTAC. Home field advantage will run through Pony Lewis. If you want to go to Wheeling, you got to come to Morgantown once again. Final score in Morgantown, 14, University 7. Well, Higgins should be number one in the state when the final polls come out. For John Donaldson, Randy Jones, I'm Chris Austin. This has been Morgantown Mohegan Football, a video quest production.